the Prudential, offering a full range of insurance and other financial services. And perhaps there is something to the mystique of the Boston Garden. The Celtics, having been beaten badly twice on the West Coast, come home and take a four-point lead on the Lakers at halftime of the third game. And welcome to our Prudential at the half, everybody. I'm Brent Musburger. Let me update you on the final of the French Open. They had a rain delay over there that lasted almost a half hour. Yvonne Lindell and Matt Bielander now in the fourth set. Lindell is within a game of winning that. Bielander trying to hold on for his dear life. And it's my pleasure here at the half to welcome a very special guest, coach in the NBA, who probably takes the game of basketball more serious than any man alive. Basketball did not get him, and Coach Frank Lane of the Utah Jazz is here. Uh, Frank, uh, the mystique of the Boston Garden. Now, you come in here with the Jazz. Is there something to that? Oh, it's real, Brent. I'll tell you, I, I learned a long time ago that, first of all, God's Irish, all right? And if he came back to this world, he would have a summer home in Boston. The, the Celtics are his team. That's why they win. The mystique is great. What's it like when you bring the Jazz in here for a game? Well, uh, I'll tell you a story. About five years ago, my son was 24 years old, a young assistant in this league, and I brought him here to the Boston Gardens, and uh, he had never seen a game here. He had never been on the parquet floor, and I said, son, there's the parquet floor. There's the great flags up there, all the championship teams. There's Red Auerbach sitting over there, the great one. I said, and now sit down, because we're about to get our butts whacked. <laughs> Now, when Frank shows up today, folks, Red Arbag gives him a copy of his cassette with Larry Bird. You can take this home and throw it to the chair. Well, I take it home, and I get him out of it, and me in it, and I pick up a few bucks. You know, the redhead's pretty <laughs> hey, shot. Hey, listen, one night in the forum, you got whipsawed by that Laker fast break. You know what was going on with K.C. Jones the first two games out there. Well, I'll tell you, they were up by about 17 points with six minutes to go. I turn around. The L.A. fans are very sophisticated. I saw all the fur coats and jewelry moving out to the exit. So I said, what the hell am I doing here? Let me out of here. So I went across the street, had a bowl of cherry. <laughs> and wave goodbye to the fans on the way. I wave but, goodbye sir, to them. Seriously now, what changes would you make in NBA basketball? Let me make a commissioner for a day. What would Frank Layden do? Well, I think the first thing I'd do is I'd add two minutes to the game and I'd have five ten-minute periods, all right? That would give us five games a night. We could play the whole season in 16 days, and I'd only play games on days ending in Y. Anything you do with the referees, or are they okay? The referees are okay. I think the thing I do, I think the referees do a great job. First of all, I don't think we have enough of them. I think we really need three uh, for the ball games, maybe four, and I think they work too many games, so it means that we probably need about 60 instead of 30. Uh, but I w what I would do is change their outfit. I mean, they look like prison guards. I mean, let's give them something nice, something bright, you know, so people would say, gee, here comes Wally. He looks terrific. You know what I mean? We, we got, they look too grim out there. All right. We're going to come back with the serious side of Frank Layden when we continue here from the Boston Garden at halftime of Game 3 of the NBA Finals. And we'll do that after these messages from your local station. Soar beyond your expectations. Today, the Prudential can show you a new world of financial opportunities. Look to the rock for stocks and bonds, mutual funds. Feel its strength in CDs, insurance, and mortgages. With the right choices, the right guidance, you can move mountains. The Prudential. Your rock in financial services. This is CBS. Jimmy Hendrix, C.C. Moody Blue, Rolling Stone, Steppenwolf, Bob Dylan, the Doors, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Jethro Tull, Grateful Dead, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Leonard Skinner, The Who, Steely Dan, Eagle, Eric Clapton, The King, Bob Seger, Lost Journey, Genesis, Elton 
Elvis Costello, ZZ Top, Dire Straits, Pretend Robert Plant, The Car, TV The Ray Police, Tom Petty, Steven Winslow, The Fabulous John Cougar, Mellon, Talking Heads, Bruce Brady, Peter Gabriel, KLBJ FM. There's only one rock and roll connection. Listen to FM 94. As the president, I recommend we check out desktop publishing. As chairman, I must consider our frugal fiscal policy. As comptroller, I'm sure we'll be very fiscal. Mm -hmm. Save money, too. Well, let's call computer land. Where's that, secretary? It's your turn. I know that. The Apple Macintosh with an Apple laser writer can improve your paperwork. This desktop publishing system from Apple helps you create beautiful reports, newsletters, and brochures with stunning text and graphics. Two Austin locations. One memorable night. Thanks, Rob. At the Silver Bullet. Hey, you're John Adams, right? Uh, yes. Fuck. One course light, please. Would you believe? Two course lights. Great. Boing, boing. Hello? It's for you, Don. Terrific. Ah, oh, thanks. Mind if I join you? Mind if I pour? Not at all. <laughs> Missed it by that much. There's no slow down great. with the Silver Rob, Bullet tonight. Just did. Join David Walker for the Channel 7 News Weekend Report. We are back. We're at the half of Game 3 of the NBA Final. The Lakers trailing the Celtics by four points. Frank Layton of the Utah Jazz, our special guest. Let me show you what Coach Layton does when he gets behind at halftime. He was out in Denver one night with the Jazz. The young man came out shooting for an automobile. He made the bucket. He won the Cadillac. He was about to go and pick up the keys. And what'd you tell him, Frank? I told him, I said, son, you're the only one doing anything positive here at tonight. So I sent them out with, with four of my starters. And the referees were just about to start the game when they realized there was a guy in civilian clothes. <laughs> Not a bad looking ball player either. All right. Let me ask you, what was your reaction to Dennis Rodman's observation that Larry Bird is an overrated basketball player? <laughs> My first reaction is, we got to get Rodman a better seat. He must have missed the game, you know? I, you know, to me, Larry Bird, I, you know, I never friend, I never thought of Larry Bird in terms of being white or black, okay? In fact, I have to admit, I never thought he was human. Did you ever have any tough times with him here in the garden? Uh, I remember the first time I came in the garden here and we were playing him and, you know, we were losing 35 to 19 with two minutes to go. I just used my, my third time out in the first quarter. And I told the team, I said, I don't expect you to beat the Celtics. They're a very good team. They're better than we are. I said, but for crying out loud, we got 19 points. Bird's got 22. Let's see if we can beat him. <laughs> At halftime, all right, we were down by 20, but we were up over Bird by four. Frank, uh, seriously, can the Celtics hold on here? What will the Lakers do to try to come back? I believe that anything you can do in a half, you can do for the whole game. And we're looking at a different Celtic team here. We're looking at a team that's hustling, they're working hard, the crowd's into the game, they're taking good shots, they're making them. And I think the fact that they have good floor balance and they're taking good shots, they're hurting the Lakers' fast break. If I'm Pat Riley, I have to say, hey, you've got to get out and play some of these guys. There's too many open shots. We've got to stop them. We've got to get that ball off the board, and we've got to get back to running the way we did in the two previous games. Coach Layden, thank you very much. We have it's a pleasure. I'll be glad to come back anytime. <laughs> All right. Coming up momentarily, we'll have the second half. It's the Lakers and the Celtics on CBS. <laughs> The Polaroid Spectra system is calling, calling the cameras of America. And the cameras of America are coming. Coming to a remarkable offer on the incredible Polaroid Spectra. For a limited time, any camera, in any condition, is worth $20 toward a Spectra. At your local camera store, imagine $20. Don't you have an old camera that's worth $20 off the Polaroid Spectra? We'll announce the final cut after tomorrow's practice. I can't sleep in that land, I think. You gotta start heading from out there, Harris. Oh, I need a drink of cool, cool rain. The way to stay cool is clear. Seven up, get some good. Boy, 
Am I drained? I'm almost ready to burn out in this soft white light bulb. But if I were in the Sylvania soft white bulb, I'd last 5% longer. Why, in their 60 watt alone, I'd have 50 more shining hours at no extra cost. So get Sylvania soft white light bulbs and get the most out of me. Ask for Sylvania, where the best comes to light. Magic. That was the best assembly we ever had. That's great. I meant what I said. Okay, so what do you do if somebody offers you drugs? Just say no! That's right. You can all be winners on and off the court. You are to yourselves to be your best. Don't let anyone talk you into playing a losing game with drugs. Play it smart. Don't foul out. Yeah! Sports coverage of the 1987 NBA Finals is sponsored by Miller Genuine Draft. Cold filtered draft beer. It's as real as it gets. And by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? At halftime, the Celtics lead the Lakers by four. All year, we've given out the Miller Lite Player of the Game. Well, Pat O'Brien last week gave the award for the Miller Lite Player of the Year. Here it is. Irvin Johnson has led the Los Angeles Lakers to the NBA Finals six times, and through the years, we've come to know why Irvin's nickname is indeed Magic. This year is no exception. Magic, of course, is the consummate team player, but through the years, he's earned some very high individual awards as well. And on that note, here's Kevin Wolf from Miller Brewing Company. Kevin? Thank you, Pat. This year's Miller Lite CBS Player of the Year is Irvin Magic Johnson. Magic took his game to a greater heights this year, he uh, led his team in scoring with over 23 points a game. He uh, once again led his team in assists, and he hauled down over 500 rebounds this year. Magic, on behalf of Miller Lite, I'd like to congratulate you for a great year, present you with this trophy for the Player of the Year, and also I'd like to uh, donate in your name a check in the amount of $5,000 to the Thurgood Marshall Black Education Fund. Congratulations. Thank you. I'd like to thank everybody at Miller and also CBS for uh, this award. I'd like to thank my teammates who, no question, helped me to achieve this award, and everybody else, management and coaches at the Los Angeles Laker organization. And I'd like to dedicate it to my dad, and I hope he's as proud and happy as I am today. So thank everybody. Magic on behalf of CBS and fans everywhere, thank you for your enthusiasm for the game and for the showtime. Well, the NBA is fantastic. <laughs> From a superstar to an obscure player who made his presence felt. Let's talk about Greg Kite, especially with Parrish on the bench with two points, three personal fouls, Kite's contribution to Boston's effort in the first half. Well, I said at the top, the parquet floor might not make their feet faster, and Casey Jones well recognized it and said, Greg Kite, you have got some quick feet getting back, and he's been instrumental in giving them that extra defender that has helped the Celtics stop the fast break attack of the Lakers. All right, let's take a look at some halftime statistics right now. And in the second period, the Celtics hit 17 of 21 shots for 81%. That really helped their effort and overcame their first period shooting woes. The front line, well, that's where Boston normally gets their points, but they're doing the number 